creating characters in Blender is a very tedious and time consuming task. So there is an add-on which is called the MBLAB add-on. This add-on is called the MBLAB add-on and this add-on is absolutely free and it helps us to generate the characters without having any prior knowledge of modeling. So not wasting our time, let's get started. So I have provided with the link of the add-on in the description. You can go and download the add-on from there. And then go into the edit preferences and install the add-on. So first we will delete the default view. And then press N. And on the sidebar you can see the NB lab option. So just click on that and you can see various options. So I will select the cycle engine. And I will also use the inverse kinematic. And I will use the portrait studio light. And then you can also select the type of character which you want. So there are various types like female, Afro-female, Asian female, Caucasian female and then you can also generate the anime characters also realistic anime characters as well as elves and dwarves so you can select any one of them so for this tutorial I'll be using Asian male and then press on create character and then you'll see a character here so if you just zoom in Again on the side you can see that we have various options so like first one is the character age so you can decide the character age so I'll just reduce it let's say to 21 years then you can also play with the mass and the character tone then if you go inside the character library you can see here we have different types suppose we, we want an athletic character so you can select the athletic type so we'll get this type of character and there are various other options like if we select the giant you can see this is a huge character which we have got and then if you choose the extreme underweight type and you can see that we get this type of character so yeah you can play with these values and you can decide which character suits for your project so for, for this tutorial I'll keep it athletic So here you can select the phenotype. So I'll keep it central Asian. And then the other option is the random generator. So if you select this option and you can then randomly generate the character. Then the next option is body measures. So if you go under that, you can also morph the character. You can select a specific part and then you can modify it. So I'll just keep it as it is. You can play with the values later and then the next one is the skin editor you can just play with the values again you can increase the skin freckles you can manage the eye view and skin blush bump etc so again you can play with these values then once you are satisfied with your character just select the finalize tool option click on finalize with textures and back and then just select a folder and click on finalize with that so once you finalize the character you are ready to use the after creation tool so the first option in this is face rig so with the help of this option it becomes very easy to rig the face so for that you just have to click on the face rig and create face rig and then you can see various options here so we'll select this option first and let's just rotate it you can see the character has opened its mouth so there are various options here so if you select this one so you can see it becomes very easy to rig the face so the next option is assets and head go into the object mode and select the character and then under the assets and head you can select the type of hair so for this tutorial I'll just keep it dark brown and then you can select the particle hair option so once you click this option we can see we have hair to the character and then you can also manage this hair by selecting the head part and go into the particle edit 
where we can literally form the characters here. So like, like this something. Let's increase the radius. So you can just manage this here however you want to. Alright, I'll keep it something like this. Then go into the object mode again. You can see we have added the hair to the character now. This add on gives you a rig character. So if you go into the pose mode, and then you can just select the pose. And you can see how easy it is to control this character. So I can also bend this character. So you can see it becomes very easy to control this character. So by using this add on, we can easily create characters in Blender. And it becomes very easy to rig the characters and make the animation.